everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology and in today's video we are going to be doing our weekly predictions for our Virgos, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for the week of June 19th through June 25th. So let's go ahead and get right into that video. Alright, what's going on with our Virgos, Sun, Moon and Rising sign for this week? Ooh, the sage is like <laughs> steaming right now. It's probably not going to last long but you know, it's steaming right now. <laughs> what can they expect what should they look out for and what energy is surrounding them all right quick disclaimer for a lot of you guys this energy may be happening in chronological order throughout the week for other you guys, this energy may be happening sporadically throughout the week, so just take what resonates with you guys. What's going on with our Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs this week? What's going on? What's going on with our Virgo? Okay. So we have the Ten of Wands that's in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Who is that? We got the Two of Cups in reverse, you guys. Okay, so the Two of Cups was in reverse for our Leos. I just got finished doing the Leo reading. So let me find out. <laughs> let me find out. Okay. We've got the tower card in reverse. What is going on, Virgo? What's going on? We've got the wheel of fortune in the upright position. We need those good vibes coming through. But what is going on? How are you guys feeling? Indecisive. And this two of cups, the deck that I'm using, this two of cups, very well has a lot to do with relationships for you guys. You got the four of wands in reverse. Back of deck energy is the five of wands. Okay, so the five of wands, when the five of wands is in reverse, you know, um, it's someone who's like ignoring arguments. But let's just get straight to the chase. What's going on with this two of cups energy, y'all? Like we got the two of cups in reverse here. As you can see, there's a brown skin hand and there is a lighter skin hand it looks like you know an interracial couple um going on here that's what it looks like you know i don't i think only two of the decks that i have with the two of cups shows um the interracial couple um for the two of cups and i just use that one i just use that one for the leo reading okay so <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just you know amazed all right so let's get into the reading virgo so we got the ten of wands in reverse two of cups in reverse the tower card in reverse followed by the will of fortune being in the upright position and then we have it followed by this four of wands energy being in reverse and i'm just like man what is going on virgos so have you guys been feeling like stagnant right now just feeling stagnant feeling like things are not like moving forward you know because the ten of wands energy when it's in the upright position this is somebody who has so many responsibilities so many things to do so many things to get done and you know virgo aside from the relationship stuff that i was talking about earlier i really do feel like you guys have so many things on your plate right now it's just like man you know you've written a to-do list of oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then like when the time comes you overwhelm yourself and i feel like it's for some of you guys it's putting um a burden or a hindrance on your relationships with people it doesn't have to be romantic all the time but it's putting you know a strain on those relationships and you know your communication and the people that you are involved with the people that you love the people that you care about because you're yourself are overwhelmed with the work that you have to do and the responsibilities that you have and you feel like things are just not balanced with the two of cups energy you know like i was saying this is 
love type energy and i know in the virgo reading because you guys you know you really showed out for the virgo reading the leo showed out too for the love reading for june 2022 i i'm happy about that thank you guys and um that energy you know if you saw a new lover, some of you guys may be having these mixed emotions or these feelings because you yourself may be exploring your options, you know, finding a new lover or a new lover may come or the same person that you are in a relationship with, they may change it to a different person. So it's this energy, this iffy type energy, you're like not knowing how to feel, feeling indecisive and feeling kind of lost when it comes to love, any type of relationship, whether it's, you know, with friends, family, you may be feeling some type of way pertaining to that. With the tower card, there's some things changing um, and it's a drastic change, but it's a part of your detoxification. The tower card, I really do like the tower card, even though it can cause havoc. But I like the tower card because it purges ourselves of things we no longer need, things that are not necessary. And I feel like that's a major thing that's going to be happening during this week, Virgo, because you're going to be most likely purified, you know? And after the detoxification, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is about luck. So I feel like there's some type of luck or some type of prize that is going to come out of this detoxification, out of this purge, out of you recognizing and realizing that, you know what, maybe you can't handle everything by yourself. Um, for some of you guys, you may be at a business owner, an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? Your business may be expanding, you know, your business may be expanding so far and it's like now you need to hire help. Now you need to um, get other people in to help you because you cannot carry this workload so much longer. Some of you guys may be launching products. You may need um, some a financial assistant. Hey, you know, I'll be here to help type thing, you know. Um, you guys have the Four of Wands that is in reverse. So with the Four of Wands being in reverse, a lot of you guys may be feeling like you're having delayed gratification, delayed celebrations. And with this energy, it's like, you know, you may be feeling like you're, because this is in reverse, you know, and I've done a reading with this card before and this card came out. There's people celebrating on the outside and you may be feeling like you're stuck on the inside. You know, you're not able to live life to the fullest extent. These are the emotions that I'm seeing that's going on during this week, Virgo, that you could be possibly feeling some, you know, things that may come up that you have to acknowledge and recognize. Some of you guys need to recognize that you can't do it all on your own, that you need help, that you need assistance. Some of you guys need to recognize that um, in order for you to prosper and be able to live your life to the fullest, you need to hire on more people into your business, hire on more people to be able to help you so that you can grow and expand in the way that you want to. All right. So that that's a cool little message, Virgo, is, you know. It may be a prideful type thing. You want to be in control. You want your perfectionist. You want things to be a certain way and yada, yada, yada. But it's for my entrepreneurs out there who are getting overwhelmed with work and not feeling like you can get everything done all at once. It's time to outsource and hire someone. All right. So let's get into the numerology card so we can see what our Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs need to focus on during this week. And you know what's the funny thing? The first card to came, come out was number two. And what is that? Patience. <laughs> so we've got to be patient with ourselves, patient with the progress. If you have just hired someone on, like towards your business, your corporation, and they're not catching on as fast, it may be a moment for you to be patient with them. You all also have number four, perseverance, being able to, you know, go for a long time, continue to try, continue to move forward, continue to go on. And then you guys also have number 63, parenting. So that may be something that you're focusing on, you know, during this week as well. If you are a mother or a father, you know, parenting may play a huge part into, you know, why you feel like the 10 of wands in reverse, you feel like there's so much on your back and you're needing help and assistance. 
All right, so let's get into the Black Moon Astrology card so we can see what our Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs need to know right now. What do our Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs need to know? Okay, let's see. So we got air element. We've got communicating type energy coming through. So air signs are here to help. Let's see. <laughs> I sound like such a mom. Air signs are here to help. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's get into this air sign energy. Air element. Communicating. All action results from thoughts. So it is thoughts that matter. Okay. Think it over first. Put some mental effort into it before you put your talk into action. Be logical. Sort it out. The air element is about being objective and becoming mentally inspired. When we think of air, we think of clouds and sky and what connects us to the beyond. Air is all about lofty thinking, being broad-minded and expansive. Air sign people, Geminis, Librans, and Aquarians sometimes come off as a little cool and detached. They weigh everything, mull the situation over, decide what they think, and then process what they feel. Air also reminds us of flight and flights of the mind are what the air element rules over. Those governed by air signs are mentally inclined and tend to distance the emotions. Air can represent overthinking and distancing the heart and emotions with abstractions and mental puzzles. But this works well when things do need to be sorted out and clarified. Air also represents clear seeing and all its capabilities capacities, I apologize, so can signify clairvoyant abilities as well as seeing things for what they truly are without emotions involved. When the air element card presents itself in a reading, it is time to put into words what you want, what you desire, and what you expect. The good news is some issues you've been working on at the current moment and current time and possibly from the past are now being resolved. You are able to face them without pretense, but most importantly with honesty. Air is all about being quick on your toes, how curious you are, and how ingenious. Air also gives us the power to apply our energies in diverse ways. It's all about being spontaneous in the moment and landing on your feet and where you are able to approach things with precision and sharpness. There is also freedom now to take a new path. Air signs look young, so this card is all about feeling young, looking at things anew, having energy, and being young. When your question is about relationships or romance, someone may not be willing to commit as much as the other at this time. It is possible that they are embarrassed or not as comfortable about sharing emotions as the other. So the air element can mean there is a type of impasse in the relationships. It can become a type of weighing of all the angles and odds and being unable to reach a decision, but this will only be a temporary matter. You can expect travel in the near future when this card comes up, and it should be a major trip, not a trip that might be a routine. It will be taking planning and air travel may be involved. Learning about new things will also feature either through cultural experiences or visiting educational places, mountainous regions may also play a part. Sometimes this card may simply mean ambition and the need to soar as high as you can, which is now possibly more than ever before. Ideally, this card indicates the powers of manifestation, the ma magic of the mind, and thought bringing things into the being. What you might... Ugh, what you think might be can happen, so guard how you think and be especially careful as to the words you choose. To spell a word that is to say a word is to cast a spell. The ancients knew that words held magic within them. So do thoughts. If nothing else, the air element card indicates that your mind and words have power. Use them well. This is the Ace of Swords energy. So there's some type of success that will come out of this. And this is what you need to know. All right. Let's get into the Moonology card so we can see what energies are surrounding our Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. So the first card to come out is what do we need to release? What do you need to release? Start thinking about it. Start thinking about it. <laughs> 
some of you guys need to release control especially when we were talking about like the business thing if your business is expanding you're needing help you can't do it all alone for a long time you guys have communication is key with the new moon in gemini you have nothing is yet set in stone with the mutable moon all right and let's get into the star seed oracle card so we can see what messages you guys have from spirit So we got two. Um, let's get one more. Okay. All right, so we have the great severing. We have some Aries energy coming through. With this, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Some of you guys are going to learn how to be a little more softer when it comes to love, not so demanding. You guys have portal, doors are opening, you decide, rewards, wild card. All right, and lastly, you guys have lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. So with this, anything that's unaligned must go, is something that you need to release and we've already discussed that with what you're needing to release during this time so let's get into the positive affirmations for you guys for our virgo sun moon and rising sign i mean okay that card flew all the way over there into the sage ashes <laughs> okay so let's get into it we have my healing is already in process my healing is already in process. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. I love and approve of myself. I love and approve of myself. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. I am willing to forgive. I am willing to forgive. Forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the answer to almost every problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself. I forgive and I set myself free. Forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the answer to almost every problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself. I forgive and I set myself free. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Virgos, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.